Hit it, John. Welcome, gamers, to the Couch Co-op Podcast. We're diving to the gaming archives with this day in gaming history to kick off this exciting episode. Next up, brace yourself for Dr. Demo's segment, Buy, Try, Die, where we dissect games in the ultimate gaming autopsy. Then we'll explore the gaming landscapes of our hosts with what you've been playing, hear about our latest adventures, triumphs, and maybe a few defeats, and stay connected with the latest in mobile gaming, and Aaron's possible mobile minute. Get ready for our ultimate co-op picks and the couch co-optionals and test your gaming knowledge with a round of trivia. Thanks for joining us on this gaming journey. Sit back and relax and let the Couch Co-op podcast begin. Couch Co-op is full of douchebags. Couch Co-op. Hello, couch co-opers, couch potatoes, and couch codependents. This is the Couch Co-op Show, a place where you can find something involving sexual torture a little bit. My, my, my. I thought, <laughs> my. I thought, I thought JPK was going to say something like that. Uh, yeah, and I mean, I have Jerry, Dave, and John joining me here on the show tonight. Uh, maybe Aaron will join us. We do not know. How's everybody doing tonight? Doing good. Good, good to see you guys. Good. Yes, that's now on the soundboard. Uh, <laughs> spam at your own risk. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I like how it's called Aaron Classic. It is an Aaron <laughs> Classic. Uh, anyway, I don't. I think it's more funny what Jared says. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's pretty funny. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I thought direct that's all that, comments to John. <laughs> I thought that was something John would say. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> He's the deviant, <laughs> the young deviant in the group. <laughs> I was. That's yeah, funny. you were. Yeah, you were. So you guys doing all right? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. been a good pretty yeah. pretty good day. Yeah. yeah Staying exciting. warm. Staying warm. Got out of the house. You got out of the house. Good job. Yeah, it's uh, a little warmer this week. This is my first warmer. beer since last beer thing. I haven't had nice, I, man. No wow. beers for a week. It's nice. Cool. Yeah. Just by happenstance? I haven't felt stressed. Last weekend was very nice and relaxing and mm. caught up on video games and movies and just played with the dog. No work, even though technically I was at work. But uh, very relaxing. Now you it's back to those every once in now it's back to just drinking all the time. Stress. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Great. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get to the show. We have a patch one for you, and we'll start it off as we always do. With uh, you know, I, I had a funny like, <laughs> take us back to the Clark Ages. Oh yeah, <laughs> back to the nice Clark one. Ages. Well, that that is kind of like what what my Twitter handle looks like. That, uh, I know. Clark Ages. I know it's Clark Ages, but I and my I, old <laughs> blog. Oh yeah, my old blog. You was should. That? Yeah. You should yeah. read a blog. Is that even around? Could you even find it? I, I did find it. I, oh. I looked, and most of the images that I put on there uh, are no longer oh. available, but uh, the words are there. That's funny. But anyway, yeah, uh, so that's hit, funny. Us, hit us with some trivia, Jared. Well, that's at the end of the show, man. Where are you? Or I mean, uh, this day in history. <laughs> My bad. Oh, oh, there we go. The trivia is meant to be a surprise, remember? You're right. <laughs> well... Man. Just this one beer. D- it just like hit me so fast. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding, man. It's uh, it's pounding on you. So a uh, few that I want to point out. Uh, there was actually a couple of Resident Evil games that were released on this day in mm. history. The most recent is Resident Evil Village, of course, in 2021. But it was also released that same day as Resident Evil 2 back in 1998, 26 years ago. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 Holy cow. And Super Smash Brothers for the N64 
came out 25 years ago. Holy crap. Ian's favorite series. Ugh. I played a lot of that in college. Yeah, None of those games yeah. do I care for, I'll, but that's cool. I love Smash Brothers. <laughs> Good for you, gamers. I'm glad all your some of your favorite games came out today. Yeah, yeah. Some pretty <laughs> pretty big ones. Oh, that's cool. All right. A couple Resident yeah. Evils, Smash Bros, N64. Is that the biggest one or is like is there a Super Nintendo one that's bigger? There's like the N64 one. There, the it, it started on the super, the N64. Okay, yeah. so that's the, the yeah. one. Yeah, that's like the, the Genesis. All right. But, I mean, the one on Switch now, which was the Wii U version, but Ultimate, uh, that is absolutely the highest selling Smash Brothers ever. Cool. Exciting. All right. Yep. Well, we're going to move that on to our new segment, uh, Dr. Demo. And the reason I, I kind of wanted to move... Well, there's a couple reasons, uh, audience. One of our segments left the show, and one of our segments is barely on the show. So <laughs> we needed a new kind of fun segment, and Dave doesn't have a segment, except when we just give him challenges, which is unfair because that costs him money, and he has to play these... A lot of time. A lot of time, and it's like, that's just not fair. That's not fair. It's, it's that good, feels like really bad math homework or it's something. A good, it's a good joke. <laughs> it depends on the game it's sometimes. A good, they yeah. It's a laugh. It's a good joke. Yeah. But I thought, have him, yeah, have him play a bunch of demos, you know? like Or not a bunch, but like, you know, he'll review a demo. There's a bunch of demos on PSN that he could check out. And, uh, you know, he can give his thoughts on them. So, uh, and then I thought that the buy, try, or die is that he buys into the game, the demo, and like maybe wants to, you know, so, you know, f- look for it, p- pick it up or rent it or get it from yep. the library or try it. Maybe he'll play it. Maybe he won't. And then die. The game fucking sucks. So it's, it's a pretty simple rating system. And so, uh, Doc, yep. take it away. What is the first demo on your uh, pilot episode segment? So I just went to the demo screen and I had a look. And on the first two or three screens I was looking through, I saw a game called uh, Destroy All Humans that they remastered for the PlayStation 4 and I've never I've always seen it and the cover cover artwork is quite distinctive and I've always wondered what that game is about and it sounds like it could be fun so I downloaded the demo for that um and essentially it's kind of rifting on 50 sci-fi movies and all the classic alien tropes um you know you abduct the cows and the 50s army soldiers are there anal so there's like a Yes, there are anal probes, of course. <laughs> um, I've I never got, played this game either. I haven't unlocked them yet, uh, but basically, you get the uh, you get the first level for free, and you, so you start off on the ground, and then you get in your flying saucer and you shoot up the terrain and stuff. I mean, it's not the world's most uh, complex game, but the writing's funny, like. <clears throat> the, it, the the caption is destroy all humans one giant step on mankind oh of course <laughs> so it's like <laughs> but if you that, that if you were you to frame much, it yeah. from the time period of the ps2 generation do you think it fits into that area era of video games pretty well then? oh yeah it's a it's it's very ratchet and clanky type you know it's got that feel about it because there's a bunch of weapons you can upgrade that like zappers you can you know you can also use your telekinetic powers to pick people up and throw them and you know suck the brains out of their dead bodies and all the rest of it it's 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 very silly it's a little dated um but it's a fun demo and you should you should try it um so where does so it did, la- so where does it land then? Like on the buy, try, or die scale? Like after that first, after that one level, did you delete it off your system? Uh, I deleted the demo and then I went to the PlayStation Store and bought the game. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes. So, and I actually <laughs> spent seven dollars ninety nine on it because it was on sale. Hell yeah! There so, we go. I think I, think I, played, I bought it I on it, sale it, once. I played it uh, a bit today, and the second level was a little like not. It was just a weird one, uh, but the third level was great. So, so what made you pull the trigger then? Like, you didn't have to. Like, the, the, this whole demo thing is just for you to play demos, Dave. <laughs> I, enjoy, I enjoyed the game. It's like, <laughs> I, I looked at it and I was like, okay, I looked for a disc copy and I could buy a disc copy for 15 bucks. Oh, wow. Or I could buy, like, a used disc copy for about 10, 10 bucks. And I was like, I'll just buy it on the 
PlayStation Store. Hence why I posted, if you're a Costco member, you can get uh, $100 of PlayStation oh. credit for $90. Cool. I didn't do that because I was only buying an $8 game. Mm, but, right. you know, with the price of games now, that's anytime you can get 10% off on day one is not bad. How does it look then? I mean, it's, it's the remaster. It looks pretty good, actually. Uh, it's like... Uh, it, it does a really good job of the zooming out and zooming in, you know, because... It's the same graphics engine when you're on the ground and the people are small as it is when you're up in the UFO kind of shooting things. But it's really, it's really kind of dumb humor that that's kind of there's a kind of humor sometimes that's so dumb it's clever. Right, right. Like it takes real effort to be that dumb. It had to be somewhat uh, of a good game. It got a sequel. Yeah, I know. I'm kind kind of interested. So. And then the other reason I I bought it, I looked in, I looked on how long to beat, and it said about seven or eight hours, and I'm like, that just sounds Perfect. nice. That sounds about the right length for a game right now. Mm -hmm. So, well, there you go. Not only was it a, a successful first segment, but he actually bought the game, which was not part of the thing he had to do. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. He literally bought in, ladies and gentlemen. So he yeah, would recommend. He, I knew you would be surprised. Yeah, so far I'm enjoying it. Cool. I would recommend it. Is it the world's greatest game or is it particularly groundbreaking? No, but is it entertaining? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone else played it? I played it. Oh, I, John's played it. I played I the bought it, but too. I don't think I ever played it. Hmm. <laughs> what did you think, John? <laughs> uh... I got to the, I think, uh, I got to like Area 51 and I kind of lost interest with the game. Um, and then kind of the same with the sequel. Like uh, it has, a, it, it makes a great first impression and then I just kind of lost interest in it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, so it'd be interesting to see how, how I get on then. And Jared has it, but doesn't play it. Just collect it. Yeah, I, I bought it on a sale a long time ago. Like, oh, I've always wanted to try this game and the remaster costs nothing. And yeah. uh, oh. I had it on my system for a while. I just never played it, so I deleted it eventually. The voice actor for Invader Zim is in the both games. And oh, there he you played go. the alien who uh, who type like cast. a boss alien. Fucking typecast. <laughs> <laughs> Very awesome. Cool. All right. Well, there you go. Dr. Demo. Oh. We're, we're still, we're still uh, you know, spitballing titles here yeah i thought doc oh. dirt a dirt a demo <laughs> but i feel like that's very <laughs> niche <laughs> demo that's very niche <laughs> anywho thanks you dave thanks for uh going off on this journey any idea where you're going to try next week tease no yeah. i haven't looked actually all right it was uh, uh and when we get to what we've been playing i've been busy with between uh destroy all humans and some other the other game I'm playing right now. So I'm I'm looking forward to you playing just something god awful. I am looking forward to just you ranting, ripping into some like awful mm. Japanese game. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I play another demo of a new Hatsune Miku game. <laughs> yeah, oh god, no, I don't want to make my eyes bleed. <laughs> anyway, all right. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, I thought this would be a pretty stress stressless episode, and we just do a, a round of what we what we've been playing. Um, uh, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, Jared's gonna go first, but I I can kind of tag team with Jared because I know one of the things he's been playing. <laughs> I've been playing it yeah. with him quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, oh, Jared, yeah. go ahead. So, a lot of the games I have been playing for a while, I actually ended up beating this week. Oh. Um. Hmm. So the first one I really w loved uh, more than I anticipated is Humanity which is the follow-up uh, game from the creators of Tetris Effect. And it's all based around guiding humans to specific points. Kind with, of like uh, Lemmings. Various obstacles. Yeah, very mm -hmm. Lemming-esque. Like a 3D Lemmings. And the music is super weird. You, you can play it in VR and get that perspective. And I loved doing it in VR. I, I jumped between the two uh, pretty evenly, I'd say. And... Mm -hmm. uh, I eventually just played enough of it and uh, saw how close I was to getting the platinum. So I went and got the platinum on that one. I, I had such a good time with it. Once upon a time, we got it free through PlayStation Plus. So you might have it in li your library right now if you're mm -hmm. looking for something that you might have to think about. 
I played it. It's it's a pretty fun game. I just those yeah, games don't hold fun. my attention for very long, but uh yeah. It is a very fun that. puzzle game that uh is very reminiscent of Lemmings. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So try try that. Definitely. Uh the next one is Katamari Damacy Rerolled. Because I never played the original Katamari Damacy game back in the, uh, what, PS2? Yeah, they I did. played something a like lot, that. Lot. Yeah. And I got so annoyed with the game by the time I was done with it. Like, as as the clock ticked down and I was close to failing and stuff like that, I just got kind of angry at the game. Like, I don't want to play this level again. Great, Jared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like, making the last minute few grabs and hitting the timer was a relief it wasn't like the excitement of like finishing something really well it's just being done with something that's frustrating and annoying hmm. that, See, I that's how i felt about the game i liked how it zoomed out and how it got bigger and bit you know yeah you could pick up bigger and bigger stuff and i just didn't i know what you mean about the timer but i just used to play it because i enjoyed it yeah yeah i'm i'm done with timers don't you I love the like music timers. Yeah, the music's fun. Yeah, yeah. The music. It, there's a lot of neat things about the game. There is, but the the controls, you know, they're they're what they are. Uh, I think the biggest problem was that I was playing in portable mode with the Switch, and how you have to like do the sprint and stuff like that, trying to waggle the joysticks back and forth. Oh, you know, God. you have to do that thing where you have to alternate the sticks. Well, playing it's almost impossible the with the was Switch. Your first mistake. I yeah. Mean, yeah. So I think that probably marred my experience is uh, playing it on the Switch in handheld mode. I, I'm sure well, I would add a little more fun. Is a c- crap console for playing that game. Yeah, if you're not playing on the TV with uh, your own controller, uh, yes. It's with sad. a non-Nintendo controller that's actually decent. Yeah, I love playing my Switch with a PlayStation controller. It's absolutely the ultimate way to do it. Oh, I don't have it. a Switch Pro controller, which I'm sure is fine. But, man, you should get it yeah. for the uh, PlayStation is what you're saying if you want to play that game. Man, now if only 8BitDo would sponsor us, man, I'd, I'd be like just shoving like controllers down people's throat. Like just, I thought you were going to say this. something else. Just, yeah, yeah. Just, just try this controller dongle thing, please. Yeah, just, just try the Jared's dongle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Try my dongle, please. My, my, my. I thought, I <laughs> thought, I thought JPK was going to say something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, my, enough. My, my, I thought, my. I thought, I thought JPK was going to say something like that. <laughs> yeah. Again. Um, And the next game that uh, I just finished the campaign with Ian last night was Diablo 4. We've been playing a lot of that together. First first of all, I'm really upset that we're not all playing this. Like, this is like, this could have been the next destiny for all of us. Like, it still could be. I mean, I'm going to keep playing. It's not a looter shooter. It's a looter stabber. Looter stabber. But uh, holy shit, have I been playing a lot. But uh, yeah, it's like the first time in a long time that Jared and I have like consistently been playing a video game together pretty regularly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like every time I sit down for the evening or whatever, I invite Ian to my session. He finishes what he's doing. He jumps in with me and we just kind of dink around. He, he's like running around doing his seasonal stuff. I'm just kind of dorking around in the campaign. And every once in a while, it's like, hey, Ian needs to be over here too. And he <laughs> transports over. He joins me in the mission for a second and runs off and does what he wants and joins me in dungeons and it's it's a lot of freedom in it if if you're playing multiplayer so that's that's pretty nice like oh wow if, if four yeah. people were playing with you and you're just kind of going off doing whatever you can just do whatever you want unless you're doing like story stuff where yeah the and, story mode yeah, all the, the only, party needs to be here the story mode is the only thing that kind of like if someone's running through the story it's the only thing that kind of when he hit he triggers like a story mode it pulls everyone in but as soon as that you can leave again or you can stick around and help him with it or whatever. So last yeah. night I just stuck around yeah. with Jared and just helped him finish the campaign. But, yeah. Uh, we played for like four or five hours last night. Yeah. It's, uh, just good, pounded through the final and, chapter. And, uh, very what cinematic. That game, what brought you back to that game? Cause you know, it was released quite a while back and everyone was kind of like, meh. And then uh, suddenly you guys started. Well, started when it came out, it got good powering. reviews. Yeah. Just think, people have been yeah, writing did, about some but, of the season stuff. Yeah. I think what the I think the thing for me is I've never been a Diablo really a Diablo fan. I've never really I've never really played beyond a few level. You know, uh-huh. never. It's never been my thing. And then the beta thing happened. I put twenty hours in that beta, and uh, I 
And then they announced that they were going to wipe your character and start all over. And it's like, oh, man, I don't really want to start all over. Yeah, that's game. another 20 blah, hours. Blah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, how many characters do you have right now? It's not important. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Are so, any of them not wearing heels? <laughs> so they don't, none of them have heels, Dave. It's not. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, what happened was I really liked the game. I just was going to wait for it to go down in price, you know, mm-hmm. and then. I played. I started playing Baldur's Gate. I really fell in love with that game and the whole isometric thing. And then, at the end of Christmas, there's just not a lot of stuff coming. I was kind of like dry. Period. And yeah. there's that holiday sale, and it was down to forty bucks. And I was just like, I really could play this right now. I don't. There's nothing I want is coming out yeah. for the next couple months, and I really want to play this. I think this is a good time. Yeah, forty bucks is not a bad price, you know. Yeah. And so mm-hmm. I, yeah. I bought it, and I just started falling in love with it. And I then I told, I think mm-hmm. I men- men- messaged on Discord to Jerry, it's like, hey man, like this is like the last day you're gonna get it for forty bucks. It's gonna go back to seventy for like a, who knows how long. And I'm really digging yeah. it. And so then Jared- yeah, I, I was debating uh, like, oh, I should buy it when it's under forty bucks. And I was like forty one dollars. I'm like, oh, yeah. okay, okay. Fine. Ian's playing it. I'll, I'll buy yeah. it. You know, it's close enough. And Nick had already bought it, but he's not really playing it that much. So we've only, we've mm-hmm. only played with Nick like once, but uh, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. We played, yeah, but uh, but uh, yeah, it was just kind of one of those things. It's like fuck it. And I I've already put like a hundred and eight hours in. So it's like Ooh, fuck. I put like what forty five <laughs> something like that. I've had it for a week. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Look, at, look, look who it is. Oh, man. Let me uh, just uh, pop this up. Something involving yeah. sexual torture a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no. Anyway, uh, so, uh, yeah, I just really fell in love with it. I've been playing it a lot. Uh, I have, I've created a character for every class, but I've only really been playing my barbarian and, That's what I am and my rogue. They're all seasonal characters, but at the end of this season, they'll get pushed back to the Eternal server, so they'll just be regular characters. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll create a new seasonal character if Jared wants to run through all the seasonal stuff. So, which I, I hope will. he does because that starts it's a, this Tuesday. Yeah. It's, so yeah, so, this this week. But I'm still going to use my bar- barbarian character to, because I think Jared, we could probably platinum this game if we just stick to it. Like I'm going to use my barbar- I'm going to use my barbarian character to get to a level 100. And then all the nightmare dungeon stuff we can just do on those characters on the other on the eternal server, and then the seasonal stuff is just new story content that you get for free. It's just fun to play through. And but but you have to play the beat the game in hardcore. That's the like do if it, you Jared. die you're done, right? Yeah, we'll have to start new characters, but we could do it. When hit you're yeah. done. I hate that phrase. We could start okay. hardcore characters on this next season, Jared. We should think about it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Best Best Maybe. Buy has the game for forty five bucks on disc. If anyone uh, listening is interested, it's also on PS four. Yeah, like I bought the PS five copy and I installed it yep. on my PS four last night, just just in case. Oh well. Anyway, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm probably gonna play it for a long time. I actually, this is kind of the, my new destiny. I think I'll probably return to it. You know, I mean, it has new seasonal content all the time. So like, I'll be trying. I'll be checking that out anyway. Um, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, cause I don't know. It's just fun. I really enjoy it. It's kind of mindless. The story is actually pretty good, though. It's very like the end is the ending is very cinematic and super epic. Yeah, I like um, the story. Yeah, those those opening that opening sequence was pretty uh, amazing. Yeah, the end one is just as equally as kind of cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, Blizzard's always been good at doing their cut scenes and things like that, and they definitely didn't fail this time. Anyway. Uh, I'll be playing it for a while. I think Jared will probably be off and on it pr- for a while too. So yeah, yeah we'll be definitely. around. And Nick is still early on. He's still like a baby, little baby character. So I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If I ever see him on in the evening or whatever, I'll, I'll absolutely jump in. Like uh, last week, I was on vacation. I was uh, playing the game in my VR headset while the girls were awake. So I was nice. playing the game on like a ten foot screen or however big that screen is that my VR headset shows pretty pretty awesome playing a you know flat game on in my vr headset you just have to look around the screen a lot more and it's massive you get more details than you do on just your normal size screen it's really cool hmm. anyway awesome game a lot of fun uh jared anything else you've been playing is that it uh i'll have more to report on the final fantasy dlc uh, i've been busy with diablo to finish that i think i'm most of the way through that but i'm, I'm rather enjoying that a lot yeah all right. all right 
Dave, has, you know, you can talk about more Destroy Humans or... Uh, oh, and, yeah, I think I said most, most of what I wanted to say about that. I played a bit of a Aliens Fire Team. Oh. Talk about a game that no one is playing online. <laughs> <laughs> you go into the lobby. I've had like two people play like a mission with me. And I totally see why. It's like, you know, it's 20 minutes, half an hour for a chapter or whatever it is. And it, it, not that it's not fun, but it would be a lot more fun with actual real humans. But it's kind of tricky as well. And it's a bit cheap sometimes with the big aliens that run out and no matter how many bullets you put into them, they come in like, you know, screw you up. Oh, Tropic Force, baby. Oh, that's the beer of uh, drunkards, isn't it? 9.5%. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh, it's <laughs> delicious, though. Well, Nick, Nick's not here tonight. You know, work, you know, bourbon no. barrel aged stout so you know someone's got to do it <laughs> someone's got to fall asleep in their chair <laughs> oh. uh you know what you talked about it last um you after we did our mass effect thing we were talking about fire team and uh, yep i i should just reinstall it's not that big a deal i could play with you if you want just need someone to play with it's not it's I mean, just something i pick up sometimes like you know sometimes you just want a mindless shooter it's a great game for that, and it does capture the aliens kind of vibe pretty well. And I enjoyed it. I beat it. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I tried it's it. It's kind of one of those ones I'll probably beat in about six months because I'll you know, just play a level here and there. I'll install and... it. I'll reinstall it for you, dude. Oh, that's nice of you. There's but some trophies. The big... There's some easy trophies I could get. Like There's one like play the doctor through a level. Oh, yeah. So I could do some shit. I could just like go some, go do some tr trophy hunting. Just do some simple trophy hunting with you. <laughs> now, other than that, um, this month's PlayStation Plus game, uh, Plague Tale Requiem. Yeah, I beat that this week, and that is a great game. I really enjoyed the so first good. one. And my it's wife loved, too. loves watching it. But those, yeah, that rap mechanics just creepy. The music's yeah. great. The voice acting's great. It is a little frustrating. Some I never even by the end I didn't feel like I quite had the how to use the chemicals in the right order down against the right guys. You know, yeah. I managed to get through the boss battles for want of a better term, but they were a little tricky at times. Um But yeah, it's it's quite a simple game really. You're either trying to sneak past people or you're trying to use the rats to sneak past people or eat your opponents. But the rats are really spooky and there's just like so many of them on screen at once. And like in the later levels, you get like tidal waves of rats mm -hmm. and it's just so like cool. really gross and but cool. <laughs> or when you can control the rats into groups of people and stuff like that. It's super cool. It's so very there's, satisfying. There's to play. one bit where you play the kid. But luckily, you just walk in a little bit, and it's like explaining the story. I was like, "Oh no, this is going to be like God of War, and I'm going to have to." <laughs> <laughs> really How long to beat this game? You know, Not very long. I don't know. Probably about ten, fifteen hours. Yeah. So, do you guys play? Is it like Perfect a difficulty way. setting, like a sh easy? You just put it on. I easy? put it on easy. Yeah, I put yeah, it on the. Put it, there's no difficulty achievements, so you can. Put yeah, it on I easy. put it on. I just left it on the default, which when I looked at the end was the medium one, where it's like a little bit of challenge, uh, and the full story, and it wasn't. There were a couple of places where I died three or four times before I got the hang of it, but mm -hmm. nothing, nothing inherently super cheap, or it was more just learning the, the kind of waves and how the baddies come at you gotcha the the chases that you're running through the city streets and stuff like that were satisfying too i liked those the first yeah, one then, had some of those too and then those i i like the big puss filled balls of rats for yeah, one of a better oh. description those things are just like oh, pretty them. gnarly yeah <laughs> and then i just i just like the whole like mechanic of putting out the fires that you know guys carrying a torch and you can either mm -hmm hit him with a stone and kill him if he's not wearing a helmet or you can throw this stuff at him that puts the flame out and then the rats just all devour him and mm -hmm. oh yeah it, it was pretty good it was uh never it never felt too cheap there were a few times where i'm like oh man this is difficult but you know 
honestly, Dave, I still only see when I when I like check to see who's on. It's you're still just playing Rocket League. You and Ryan. Oh, that's play, all, that's all been, you guys play. <laughs> I play at least a game or two of that every day. So yeah, okay, I'm, cool. I'm, I'm in Rocket League, but I I probably won't play as much this week because I've got all the all the uh, what trophies, whatever it is for this week. Um, oh. And it doesn't it doesn't click over till Wednesday. Um, seasonal and the twenty two, and then the twenty fourth. The twenty fourth is weeklies. the next season. Dang boy, drop. Yep. So, yeah, <laughs> we're all in it. We're all in that live yeah. service, even though we're not really paying for that live service. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're all about that live service. <laughs> yeah. So my yeah. goal my goal this month is just to get the full, um, get all the claim all the rewards for the season. I, I was pretty oh, pretty great. close last. Last month, but I, uh, well, not last month, but last season, and I, cool. I didn't manage it because I think I started a little too late, you know. Right on. I want to quickly go to the chat. I goops, or uh, he's known as Spoogie over in Yusef's chat. He 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 came. He was on last week, and he said mm-hmm. something. I forget what he said, but he's in our chat again this week, and oh. he said, uh, "Isn't human humana tea what cannibals drink?" Huh. Oh, huh. Funny. Huh. Huh. Oh, I was he, like, he, I was, he, like, he, I was uh, like, what? And I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get, I didn't get the dad joke. I goofed. Yeah, that's a very dad joke. Yeah, didn't get the dad. That's joke. a super dad joke. For sure. Yeah. But now I got it. I get it now. <laughs> My head, I mean, this, I'm uh, yeah. the two beers. I haven't had a beer yeah. in a couple of weeks. Two beers. I'm just gone. Huh? I, don't, I can't. See, Dave, yep. Aaron, and I will understand it very quickly. Yeah, I'm not a dad. And then the I'm non-parents a... will all be like, huh? Which is funny because I li- I watch Yeah Mad <laughs> and their dad. Oh, see, I Goops is not even a dad. He just he just likes oh, okay. dad jokes. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I watch this a They're new YouTube channel. It's the new hot ones. Nope. Uh, it's called Yeah Mad, and they are from Australia. They're like an Australian <laughs> comedy troupe or something, and they just sit <laughs> around and they do dad jokes. And if you laugh, they take a shot. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, it's so <laughs> fucking funny, fun. dude. And there's some could... some other of racist, uh, not you know, not not PC uh, dad jokes you will ever hear. It's pretty funny though. Uh, anyway, a... yeah, mad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, mad. mad. Anyway, I I'll share it in the Discord. Anyway, uh, yeah. Thanks, I goops. Yep. Uh, for uh for <laughs> popping in the chat and hanging out with us. Uh, I'll. Uh, I guess I could go. I can go. Uh, we already talked Diablo, but yeah, Diablo is fucking awesome. Uh, the only other, uh, two other games. Uh, I already broke. I already broke my New Year's resolution that I would stop buying cheap games because I bought yeah. cheap games. <laughs> nice, nice. What'd you get? It wasn't. Uh, so the first thing I got was uh. Uh oh shit! What is it called? I I always get the order of what it's called. So I like to call, I think of it Vagrant Sword, but it's actually Sword of the Vagrant. <laughs> so it's uh it's uh it's like uh it's like uh it's kind of like um Dragon's Crown. Uh Jared, that the uh, that two D RPG with yeah. sexy uh, yeah. but this is just one character you play as. This is like a low rent version of Dragon's Crown. But she's pretty hot. She's this hot blonde. She runs around. She kills things. Uh, the art's really good. The story is kind of told in yep. this not very good way. Like it's just, just a lot of reading. Just a lot of exposition they shove at you, and you have to like just you just kind of push through it. But the combat and the art is a lot of fun. It looks really cool. It was like a dollar ninety nine, two ninety nine. Fucking cheap, dude. Hmm. Uh, but wow. it's did you really... buy this for the Switch? No, it's on P- it's on PlayStation. Oh, okay. it has trophies. Uh, it's on the it's on the sale right now. There's n- the the Ew. holiday sale is gone, and now there is the New Year sale. Come on, Ooh. kids! Come on. Of course, I'll be so teed off if I look on it <laughs> and uh, destroy all humans. It's like half the price. Four ninety nine. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, sort of the vagrant that I played about an hour. Haven't really sucked in. I like I played on my PS five, but I took it off. I'm gonna put it on my PS four, and maybe I'll stream it. Uh, and then there was a bunch of, uh, okay, I haven't played this in forever, and I said, fuck it. There was a bunch of pinball effects tables for, Ooh. like, 2 $3. Uh, and I was like... Uh, You're into those games? 
Yeah, yeah. So I I picked him up. I picked him up, and I put in three hours this past week during during the thing. And uh, there's uh there's a friend of ours, friend of the show. I've been trying to make a podcast with him for a lifetime. Gabe Gabriel Beck, uh, you know him. He comes to the the retro expo all mm-hmm. the time with us. Hey Gabe, if you listen. Hey Gabe, he doesn't listen, hey. but uh, he's a hardcore yeah. pinballer, dude. And if you go to if you go log into that game and you friend, if you're friends with him on PlayStation, he always has the highest scores. So my goal was to at least get high scores on a couple tables, and I succeeded. So hey, I am job, really, uh, so I really zoned in. I got a couple some tables. I really just got in there. Even some of my older tables I was playing, and but at the end of the day, I just like how awesome pinball effects is actually like it's just a lot of fucking fun dude uh so i just recommend going to play that in general but you know usually a group of like you you, you'll buy like three tables for like 9.99 and it's kind of that's kind of i don't want to do that so like i have never really bought tables so like there was a group of like uh some marvel ones for 2.99 and then another pair for two dollars i was like oh fuck it i'll buy five tables for five bucks that seems fair and so uh, yeah, and then I just, just got hooked playing that, and uh, so put in a, quite a bit of time and got some high scores. So I'm feeling good about myself. I noticed that I uh, there's a fucking table. I think they got they get there's some tables that come for free. I think uh, there's one that Jared had the high score on, like yeah. a fisherman one. And yeah, I beat his high score. Is. I beat his high yeah. score. So I haven't played that forever. Uh, but uh, yeah, so. I don't know, man. It's a lot of fun. I'm just leaving it on my PlayStation because it doesn't take up a lot of space, and uh, I'll probably pop in here and there just to try attack some of Gabe's. So, like, you know what's crazy? So, Jared. So, like, I think on that fisherman fisherman's table, we're playing in the like the the kind of the newer mode mm-hmm. where Gabe doesn't have a score on that. It's just you and I, and I think I'm at fifty million and you're just below me at 40 something or 30 something and then but you look at classic mode and gabe has like 130 million or something it's like fucking crazy (laughs) so like the classic mode means no bonuses or special stat hard hardcore mode it's just hardcore it's just like he just played it and just got a crazy amount of points and it's just like holy fuck so like i didn't even touch that one but um yeah it's fun it's kind of a little bit competitive. Uh, pinball effects yeah. itself is free in the free to play section, yeah. and it comes with like one or two free tables, I think. Yeah. But uh, any of the licensed mm-hmm. ones, you have to pay for. So I re- really recommend checking it out, playing it. I think it's a lot of fun. And yes, and John, the tables go on sale pretty often. Yeah, they go on sale. But this is like the lowest I've seen them. Like two bucks for a couple of tables was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Like usually it's like half price, uh, and I'm still like, nah. <laughs> But <laughs> anyway, yeah, super cool. Had fun. Nice. That's what I've been playing. And look at it's Aaron. What's up, Aaron? What's Something up, involving sexual Hello. torture. Or like, uh... <laughs> uh, that's never I thought I thought I thought JPK was gonna say something like that. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Aaron. Sorry <laughs> to throw you under the bus, but uh, <laughs> you got a sound story, clip so now, brother. I'm, I'm glad you got to show up on the episode, Aaron, so you get hear that. I did, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah last totally. week was just a mess. We couldn't get our kid down until 11 o'clock at night. We tried oh, it man. 8 at 8, so that was not right. fun. But anyway, so I actually have a couple things I've been playing. Well, one I beat just yesterday, and one I've been playing. How hard is that last it's... boss in Bluey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Well, no. I, it wasn't hard or anything. It's just, well, you know, when you have a kid, like a toddler, that every day she wants to play the game. She she literally tells me, "Game," brings me the controller. I'm like, "You want to play that?" Yeah. Okay. So I play for like five minutes. And all of a sudden, she completely just disappears. But she's getting more and, and more into and that game. And then you keep playing. Yeah. It, gotcha. it looks like I'm literally, literally it literally looks like a game episode of Bluey I'm playing. I'm not even kidding. But cool. no, I beat that. It's actually it's actually a very well done kids game, actually. I was rather shocked at how like my wife was watching me play and she's like, 
it looks like you're literally playing an episode of the the show that's playing right now. They did a really good job at all that stuff. I mentioned that the last time I was on here, but that's when I just started it. I just beat so it. you know, Aaron, uh, the Peppa Pig game is also like that. Yeah, well. That one, I feel like... Yeah, okay. You guys disgust I, I, me. I think hey, we hey, need to have dads, a vote of who we dads. eject off the island. <laughs> yeah, I'm next just saying, time, I, next I, time I, to give free you on game pass. for playing, like, sexy games. You've got to she it. picked it. It's like, you <laughs> give me shit for pervert games, I'm going to give you guys shit for kid games. Holy <laughs> shit. Anyway. Well, all I'm saying is she uh, she picked it, and I'm like, all right, I, I got to at least have a game for her to play, otherwise I'm never going to get her into gaming more. But anyway... um. She loved it. Anyway, the game I'm really playing right now is Spider-Man 2, as you guys heard. And that game is that game is really cool. Um, I got to the part where I got the symbiote out armor now. Nice. Because Craven stabbed me in the side and nearly killed me, and I got the symbiote armor. So Spoiler, none of us have played it. Holy cow, man. It's ba- yeah. I, I'm barely Spoiler. anywhere in the game. There's at least a, you're <laughs> oh, at least a third of the way through at this point. You're not that far in. <laughs> but we all know that he gets the symbiote armor at some point. If you've read the comic book, watched the show, watched the movies. I know. If I you know. haven't, I haven't get watched out the movies. Goddamn wrong. I haven't read the comics. I just didn't. I just didn't know that Craven stabbed him, like literally stabbed him. That that's what I didn't know. I didn't know there's right. stabbing going on. Well, there's different <laughs> parts in the. Uh, there's different ways he gets it. I mean, if you've like, he gets it in so many different fucking ways. It's just like it's like literally watching. The Spider-Man thing where he gets bit. Okay, he gets bit by a spider. We all know he gets bit by bit by an effing spider. What? But anyway. Yeah. What? What? Spoiler <laughs> alert. What? Now they're just being mean to you. Let I me know. play this what? one. Let me play this one for you. No, no, no. Aaron. I know. I know. Couch <laughs> Cope is full of douchebags. <laughs> no, I know. I was being sorry. I, I knew they were. It's like, but it, it's just like that. It's like, you know it's going to happen at some point in the, in the Spider-Man universe if you've ever read watched or heard anybody talking about spider-man what? at some point they're like i know i know i know crazy <laughs> but anyway that's so what's your favorite thing in- about the game i just like the fact you can tag team like you can go in and actually help out and like if you're in the middle of like if you're in the middle of web swing and you see a crime going down and you jump in and you see miles morales or even harry at one point was doing it I mean, he had this the thing, the armor or whatever it was. And he just like, you could help him out or he helps you out. It's like, okay, this is freaking awesome. But the story is really good too. I'm really digging that the most actually. The story is just really well done. It's kind of a fresh take on Spider-Man itself. Because thank God that you're not doing that whole, you got bit by a spider. Well, of course we knew that. Thank God they kind of overlooked that shit. It's just next I, he's going to tell us Spider-Man's secret identity. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh my God! Wait, Jerry. You don't know, what? what <laughs> who is it? <laughs> we'll never know. How but, long uh, is it going to take you to beat this game, though? Like, 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 <laughs> like next year this time? Are you going to try and like no. muscle through it I'm this year? Tr- I'm trying to mash it a little faster. I, I, I'm actually really enjoying the story on this. So it's like every time I get into it, I'm literally like sucked in for like two hours a night. I'm like, I literally nice. started, I started like 1030 and like I blink and it's like 1230, one o'clock. I'm like, oh, fuck. I got to go to bed. I got to get to work in like, oh, five hours or four hours. <laughs> I did. I swore I saw you a Mass Effect not too long ago, though. Are you are you given up on the Mass That's Effect grind? Huh? I have. I, I'm taking the hiatus on it right now. But are you still I on was, two or are you on three? I'm only on one still. Oh, you're still on I, one. I, yeah, I beat the. I beat the. Um, the last thing I remember beating was the matriarch. Gotcha. And gotcha. She. I mean, honestly, like I said, I've, I've played this game multiple times. The only reason I'm really taking a break from it is because I'm playing something I haven't played. I mean, I've played Mass gotcha. Effect. No, so I'm freaking. I swear so I just saw you time. on it though for some reason. I swear I like I like I was going to bed and you're on late and I swore I saw you playing Mass Effect, but maybe it must have been a couple weeks ago. It was. Yeah. yeah. It was before it was before I started up on Mass Effect. Uh, before I started up on Spider Man two. But no, I did play that. But um I think there's one thing I think we need to talk about, guys, and it's Oh, we're gonna do we don't, oh, you have I just, one? 
I did. Not gonna let John do it. Well, well, let, let, us, let us do. Let us do John's. Okay, let us let yeah. us talk about John's, and we'll like uh, we'll get it. You know what? I need oh, to yeah, produce yeah, yeah. a proper tease or a proper yeah. tag. I, I do I, have I, one I, one more. What you've been playing? And it's oh, worth it. oh, oh, okay. Well, I'll let John, John go ahead. John. John's been waiting patiently, just listening to all these old men. Yeah. Talk about their diapers and geriatric yeah. drugs Bad and jokes and fa- yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys are using diapers. You guys do diapers? Yeah, right. It depends. My, my. Uh, I thought I thought my. I thought JPK was gonna say something like that. <laughs> go, John. Um, go ahead. Uh, well, I beat my uh, New Year's resolution and I uh, tr- uh, platinumed God of War Ragnarok. Woo! Nice, and, nice. Uh, and I and I got all the trophies for uh for ragnarok Valhalla. and valhalla oh you got uh, them all it's 100 the, 100% the yeah. game oh, you went yeah Ooh. you got the dlc extra job, extra man. distance uh, some of those boss fights that you have to do are pretty grueling though i i had troubles i just like set the controller down like, nah nah oh on, they were on the yeah, main games like in the platinum cheap i i <laughs> so cheap yeah uh, I don't. That's the weird thing with that game. I'm on the easiest difficulty, and then all of a sudden there's a huge spike, mm-hmm. and I don't. I don't know where. Yeah, I hate that shit. <laughs> I wasn't having it. Yeah, I'm like, no, yeah. I don't need the platinum on this game. John's Come like, on. I'm all in. No sex yeah, tonight, baby. I got it. The God of War. I just said to story <laughs> mode, and and just had to bust through it. Yeah, right. I I've, I've yeah, done that. Geez. That's frustrating, but it's like I I'm not I'm not gonna break my controller. Uh, I haven't even looked. I haven't even second looked. Like Dave, you know what's funny? Like Dave doesn't like that game, but like Dave, I haven't even taken a second look at that fucking game. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I don't yeah. hate it. Like Dave, does. I got I got done with the story, and it was like, no. Don't but I have no interest in going back to it. <laughs> like, fuck oh, that I shit. loved it all. <laughs> yeah. Well, God of War 2018 was my first uh, platinum, and then this is my second platinum. Holy so shit. I was nice. I was happy yeah. about that. Six yeah, years later, rem- remasters of the uh, other God of Wars. There's so many other games <laughs> you could play. It's like a play reboot. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Well, now, well, now I'm starting to work on Red Dead Redemption Two. Oh, That's uh, I don't know if I'll platinum that game, but I'm working on the 100% completion for the story mode. Because that has like online trophies too, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yes. I watched a video on a guy who he got the MVP stuff, so that may be something I'll pursue later. Um, oh, so you have to do really good to get the platinum in that? Just be yeah, good online? Yeah, I, I don't know how possible <laughs> no, it is. Some easier games. The... Uh, let me tell oh, you about uh, Waifu. <laughs> yeah. waifu. Humanity. That well, was a fun You did play platinum. Waifu. Humanity. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, you have, you're, a couple, you're a bunch of Waifus with squirt guns, and you just shoot each other until you get a platinum. It's pretty easy. <laughs> what exactly is a Waifu, Ian? It's, a, you it's your Japanese wife. Ah. Your hot Japanese wife. Uh, I can try to Why is it a uh, wife in anime? And I or maybe his girlfriend. Is. Spooky might I, know. I think that's I just goose. how they pronounce it. I don't know. It's wife like wife. it's like your hot, lusty over girlfriend or wife that you want to, your companion. I'm not exactly sure on the definition companion. itself, but uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, your hot, lusty waifu. <laughs> Listen, I'm not... You should know, Dave. You have you're you're close friends with Mappy Man. He's he knows all about that. You should ask him. Uh, he knows all the age ancient secrets. I mean, Dave's out there partying with the Mappy. So uh... <laughs> yeah, what happens at oh, the White Mappy. Owl stays at the White Owl. <laughs> okay. Anyway, what else, John? You been playing anything else? That's, uh, uh, that's you it. haven't talked. Hogwarts at all, and I know you've been playing. Oh yeah, I've been playing Hogwarts as well. Thank you. I forgot about Hogwarts. I'm kind of slowing down to Hogwarts. Uh, Red Dead is just more relaxing for me at the moment. Um, (laughs) Hogwarts is so stressful. Witches. I'm actually (laughs) contemplating because I my uh, uh, fiance got it for her for the PS4, but I'm contemplating uh, shelling out extra money and getting my own copy for the PlayStation. Did you buy it physically? No, they had a sale where you could buy the PS4 only oh. for like I think thirty five bucks or something like that. Uh, oh, that's, 30 so that's what you did. Mm-hmm. You yeah. didn't buy the, and then, I'd uh, like to the play the game someday. The number one well, selling gonna, game of twenty twenty three. Yeah, well, well I, I wasn't expecting to really care enjoyable. much for the game. I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, so well, um, I love Harry Potter stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. I wasn't expecting to to like it as much as I did. So, uh, but I def- I definitely noticed playing on the PS4 is just kind of. 
there's a, there's performance issues. Um, so I kind of want to play on a PS5 just so I get a crisper, cleaner, faster picture. It so, goes down easier. So yeah, iGoops, iGoops says, why would you think I would know what a waifu is? I mean, you're not wrong. Ha ha. <laughs> but so then tell what us, does it mean? Do you know the exact definition of what it is then? Spooky, iGoops. I prefer calling what you Spooky, but I'll keep calling you iGoops because his name is iGoops. But do you know what the actual definition of waifu is? So I don't have to Google it. A fictional female character from oh, non-live action I was going to give media. him a job. I was giving him a, him or her. I'm, I'm actually not sure if Spooky is a them. I'm to say whom I'm one is romantically them. attracted. You're right. You're right, and are whom one considers their significant other. There you go. All right. So I, was not, I wasn't wrong. So like that's a very romantic. Uh, waifu definition. shooter oh. is this weird squirt gun game where you just run around shooting all these potential waifus. Not yeah. as romantic. <laughs> it's not romantic at all. I mean, you're running around with. Do the clothes disappear? When you're, you're also sh- a waifu because <laughs> you're in a bikini with a squirt gun. Yes, so yes, you are. Anyway, John's playing Hogwarts. He loves it. Not really loves he's it. No, he's not got the bikini mod though yet. He doesn't. I have to say that the photo you posted, where you were talking about the Hogwarts oh, drip, the drip, looked like a 2008 Matrix ripoff game. But that was pretty uh, funny because my character was <laughs> dressed really like that, awful. going to the classroom, and everyone's in their class robes. So that shit was pretty funny. Oh, I see. That he he looks like yeah, he looks like some industrial guy from the 2001. <laughs> walking into a, a classroom where everyone's wearing their school prep uniforms. Spooky Funny. has a great definition. It's very, very, very tame, like uh, kindergarten. A fictional gal you'd love to make your forever sweetie. Oh, oh, that's so nice. That's adorable. That's not for this podcast, oh. though. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> All right, Dave, Thank what you was guys. your last So game? I need to pre- preface this with, it's like... Wait, you're not going to so talk I was, about. I was over at my. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was over at my. Uh, I was a little in, afraid you're going to talk in about laws, something else. And they were going to. Uh, my nephews have been playing the Fortnite Lego. Yes. So I had to go of it, and my little nephew showed me the boom, the bag of dynamite, and he's like, "Oh, look at this!" And it blows up. So I put one in in his bedroom, <laughs> and he hit it, and it blew up his bedroom. And he's like. Oh. And then while while he went off to the bathroom, I laid dynamite all through the house in a <laughs> in a row, and then laid, made the row go out into the middle of the field and put like you know ten dynamites in the middle of the field. And I'm like, nephew, that was really cool. Should we have these explode? Because <laughs> I made sure the character was pointing away from oh, that. Man. <laughs> All right. Wow. So, so he punched the first dynamite and it went boom, 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 boom. Back. <laughs> and went back over oh, wow. That's ruthless, so, Dave. I was yeah. going to say, AMA or, uh, like, or Reddit, am I the arsehole? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, are, probably. That's funny. <laughs> but the other thing I can pull from this is that Dave really liked Lego Fortnite. <laughs> So, <laughs> I, I've I played uh, quite a bit of it. Well, not quite a bit. I've, I've played with my uh, four-year-old, and she pre- still prefers Minecraft over the Lego Fortnite. But yeah, my nephew thought he was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I did play. I did. Yeah, actually, I actually did either play another game that I'm not really going to talk about too much. But uh, there's a stupid perv game that Dave has played. Oh yeah, I've played this game. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about it much, but I did play this for some reason. I was watching. Some, I was watching Doctor Disrespect on like Wednesday of last week, and I was like, I was sitting there watching. I was like, so I just booted it up and played it. I, I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> I, I, at <laughs> least the name. The name. I, don't, I can't even pronounce it. Do you no, know how to I pronounce never, it? Never can I know. I don't know how to pronounce it. It. it, it, it it's kind of fun and it's bizarre it's, like, it's, it's also oh, like it's, so it's wrong it's like it's overly it's, sexualized I must ask i must ask does it something involving sexual torture a little <laughs> yeah, bit yeah uh, yeah actually yeah actually. you're not far off you're not okay. Far off. <laughs> okay. it's uh it's uh <laughs> it's pretty graphic are you guys playing like sa the game or something it's called Ladder. It's like a it's a 2d Laterilia? it's a 2d side scroller action game side scroller with like 
Yeah, but it's just a know, pervy sword Japanese. Stuff, yeah, yeah, swords and gun. It has a sword gun like Final Fantasy. And the splooge meter. It has a how how turned on you are, and then it has your oh. cum has your cum meter. Yep. Uh, I was only joking about that. No, it's pretty that. aggressive. I don't think yeah, you need. It, you don't need a. Uh, so it, is it like an edging game? You're just edging the whole time. No, you come a lot, no. and then so when you die and your hearts get taken away, you have sex to replenish your heart meter. Yeah, that's how you get energy. Yeah, energy. Basically, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, you feel it's the game I wanted you guys all to play, and then I rescinded my my oh, yeah. uh, okay. my uh, my. And then ask. a week later, but then, then a like, like, week later, I, Dave I, asked. I he's like, it. Dave said, like, uh, I want to try. It's like, all right, here you go. So I, I was sent like, him. I was busy that week, and I couldn't. Doesn't get require. To it and, doesn't require a very strong oh. PC. It's a. It's a it doesn't pretty... require an install either. Which yeah, it runs bit, yeah. just out of its ex- executable, so it doesn't oh, install at all. It's just ex- file. Yeah, it's uh, pretty great. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. interesting. Pretty great. You don't really want to get caught playing it though. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's, uh, no. Uh, it's interesting. It's very interesting. It, defi- it definitely is. It's interesting, and someone spent a lot of time, time. and did a really good graphics. A lot of animations. For it. Yeah. It's like wow. Oh. Uh, I'm yep. you know it's a little embarrassing to admit that I've been playing this, but I think I'm like halfway through it now. <laughs> anyway. I don't think I would beat it, but I, I it was it was well, very interesting. You are beating play, it like... one way or another. <laughs> so so Ian, answer me this: Would you be more embarrassed if somebody caught you playing that or Bluey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's a> <laughs> oh man for him, maybe. Uh, I think oh, ultimately man. I would be more embarrassed playing Bluey because I don't think people would understand why I'm playing people would like if like I was sitting down here and people were like oh what do you play it's like holy shit Ian why are you playing it's like oh yeah that's totally that's totally my MO if I were sitting down here <laughs> yeah. in my dark hole playing fucking Bluey people would think I'm a pedophile or some shit you know yeah, yeah. So, like I said, which I'm not internet. Really Holy shit. shit. Okay. I probably, right. yeah. I would look at the trophy list of Bluey and if it was an easy platinum, then that's probably, that's what, that would be my excuse. You should platinum it. Platinum yeah. Bluey, Aaron. Platinum. platinum. It's a platinum. relatively easy platinum. Platinum I'm it. pretty yeah. sure I'm close, Go but like I said, <laughs> the only reason I really play it, the only reason I really play it is because my daughter wants to play. So I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll play, play Bluey. Play, play Bluey for us. Do. Play Bluey. Play Bluey. Play Bluey. I goop, Play Bluey. I goop said, all right, I'll sing to your Dejen's level, haha, a wife who's an inspiration behind all the fan fiction you've read, done despicable things in your parents' basement, but would never tell anyone about. Basically me playing this goddamn 2D side-scroller. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I yeah, would say that. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> Thanks, Spooky. Thank you. There you well go. Done. All right. Much I better. think it's now time for Aaron's Mobile Minute. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Uh, oh, wow. Put one crazy. minute on the clock, John. Do you it's have the questions? There. Yeah, John has the questions. Aaron, are you ready? Let's do this, John. When you're ready. Name. Na- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Shredder's Revenge. Single. Yes. Multiplayer. Yes. Genre. Brawler fighting game. Advertising or word of mouth? Word of mouth. Do you like the music? Yeah. Do you like the graphics? Yeah. Time played? Uh, about 30 minutes. Keep playing? No. How would you rate the user interface? One out of five. Very out of five? I'd say four and a half out of five. Other than Jared, who would you recommend it to? Well, Ian, of course. I beat it twice. There you go. Uh, different once. game modes? Mm, what is that? Different game no. modes? No. Are there gaming events? No. Beginner friendly? Yeah. Skill based? No. Available on co- console? Yes. Cost? Free. That's it. We're done. It's free on Netflix. <laughs> free on mm-hmm. Netflix. That's why I, I found it, actually. You can pay for it on other consoles, but if you have Netflix, just. Drop, put it on a fucking iPad. It was Man. on Game Pass. I don't know if it still is. It's fucking awesome, dude. It's like those old school X Men or Ninja Turtle games. This is oh. a classic brawler. It's fucking awesome. I've beat it twice. It's awesome. <clears throat> I think the only reason why I wouldn't 
I wouldn't keep <clears throat> playing it. It's just don't get me wrong. I love the game series. I think it's just because I don't know. Actually, I don't know why I wouldn't. I, I, I'm kind of lolling that answer around in my head a little bit. Well, you should sync it. You should sync a controller to it. It'd probably be easier if instead of using the touch controls. True. I mean, it yeah. wasn't that hard, and it wasn't even that hard with the touch controllers. Honestly, they oh, kind really? of spaced it out pretty well. That's good. They it is really still on Game Pass, it. by the way. Yeah, but the cool thing about the Netflix version is that it has all the DLC. I don't think the Game Pass. Yeah. I think the Game Pass version is just the original version. Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Also, yeah. Uh, I yeah. love the graphics of it. It, it reminds me play, very much to, of the time. I got to play as Yusagi Ojimbo on the Netflix oh, okay. version. It's pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. I it's just the standard I mean, I version. There. Yeah, so I recommend so Aaron, Netflix. You can get the bluey uh, platinum. It says two to three hours, and it's a difficulty level of one. Oh, yeah, shit. no, it's not hard at all. You just got to find everything. That's the and that's not even hard. Yeah, mini games to find everything. I mean, that's what guides on the internet for. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't even need that. I I looked it up for a hot second. I was like, oh, I, just I skip the platinum. Like, Do it, man. Do it. I, I already mean, got probably most of the trophies. I just need a couple more things. And that's next it, time so. you sh- you skip a show, that's going to be your challenge. Get the platinum. Do you have, do you have, did you get it on disc or digital? Digital. Oh. It was like 30 bucks on digital. It's Damn. like 40, $40 if it's not on sale or something like that. Easy. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. much of a sale. To get it from the library, get that easy platinum. Yeah, man. None of this 40 hour God of War rubbish that John's doing. I'll just do blue. <laughs> yeah. 40 like bucks on PSN. I, I only got the game. A platinum's a platinum. Yeah. Yep. $40 platinum I got for two kid, hours. So. Waifu <laughs> Squirt Gun <laughs> Simulator, $1.99. <laughs> oh, goodness. All of an hour and a half, if that. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. So it stimulated yes. your squirt gun. Is that what happened? Uh, hey. oh, Platinum's a platinum. <laughs> mm, that's true. Very true. But no, it, like I said, the, I enjoyed playing Shredder's Revenge for the most part. Like I said, I don't know why I haven't played that much. I think I'm just trying to... Uh, I just get sucked into other things. I, just, I have it on there, so... So you can Aaron, buy it's it on a very, the very old school because it, you you can it, beat the game in like a, you know hour and a half, two hours. You know it's really short stages. It's very arcadey. It's very yeah. Very well, it arcade. reminded me of uh, it reminded me of Turtles in Time. Oh like, yeah, on the 100%. Super Nintendo. Yeah, That's oh, exactly yeah. what exactly. it is. Exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we're, it's great. We're sticking to it if you're you know a fan of that yeah. genre. You know, I need to beat it one more time for the trophies on the PlayStation because I beat it on I beat it on Game Pass. That's where I first played it, and then I beat it on Netflix. So I'm just waiting for it to come free or something on like uh, PlayStation yeah. so I can play it, beat it again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it'd be awesome to play with everybody. That'd be cool. We could all get put it on our uh, cell phones and at least. It, yeah. I mean, well, maybe not. It's probably only Apple with Apple, right? I don't know. I think it's maybe Apple, obviously, because, yeah. I don't know. Unfortunately, I only have it on my... Uh, actually, I just downloaded... Oh. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, All right. Time for some yeah. couch co-optionals. Yes. Meep. All right, Meep. crickets. You can go first. Oh, I watched. I rewatched. I should say the uh, Blues Brothers. If you've never seen that movie, it's Bro- on Netflix. Blues oh, Brothers two thousand. The sequel. Huh. No, the original. <laughs> yes, that movie's so good. I love it. It's so good, and I I'd forgotten how good it was. I haven't watched it for a couple of years, and yeah, it's on Netflix right back. now. And if you haven't seen it, it's a good way to spend two hours. It's a lot of fun, yeah. like all the people that are in it, and just the musical numbers and. The dance routines and all the rest of it, yeah. And and then all the police cars that they destroy as well. It's kind of funny. Mm. Yeah. It was a good movie. I remember watching that at the Lad Theater a while back. That was such a good movie. Ooh, that would be cool to see. Steven Spielberg's screen. cameo I find hilarious. Oh, I missed that. Mm-hmm. I'll have to, maybe I'll have to watch it again. He sits mm. there at a desk. He's sitting there at a desk. I forget what they're doing because I haven't seen the movie in forever. I just remember the he's sitting at the desk and they come in. Anyway, yeah, it's like one of the few movies where Spielberg has a cameo. Such <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so yeah, Brothers. Fine. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Aaron, what about what do you got? 
Well, I, I say I was going to do this one last week, but it was part of my double hair. But the other one I wanted to do was actually the Dave Chappelle special, The Dreamer. Oh, my God. It was fucking hilarious from what I remember watching. It was but it was dropped on New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve, and I watched it the next week after that. And it was so funny. Like People were ripping on it because it was like, oh, we name dropped. Like, what? At the end, where he, at near the end, where he's talking about where he got assaulted by that guy on stage? No, he was just saying who helped him out. But I enjoyed that entire entire special that he did, like all the way through. And I mean, yeah, yes, it wasn't as rip roaringly funny as most of his other stuff. But I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I'd highly recommend it if you love Dave Chappelle. And if you like any of his other shit that he's done in the past, it's really good. Um, anybody on Netflix, check that shit out. I did watch it. I do feel like Chappelle stuff is getting more and more luxury and less and yeah. less jokey. But yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I dug it. Like I said, it wasn't as great as his previous stuff, but it was still good. I still really liked it. So I, I really need to get it back into stand-up stuff i haven't watched anything stand-up for a long time oh, i felt yeah. like that about uh, ricky gervais as well i've watched his special newest and one was just... kind of not as yeah, oh my god you watched lechery. the whole thing dave yeah i watched well, the whole thing too like, I, no. I usually I'll, sometimes i'll put them on when i'm like there were some good jokes in his have them, like podcast I, I would say it's on par with the Chappelle one yeah the one that was it's not as good as his old stuff though the it's one that's like, not good that i watched was the the new Pete Davidson one was not good. I I, uh, I, felt, I was like falling asleep on that one. It's like holy I shit. Couldn't. But but yeah, I, I feel yeah. like sometimes they're just a bit lechery, and it's like oh yeah, they're just like they're just talking. Yeah, mm-hmm. I thought Ricky Gervais's opening bit. I thought he was trolling the audience because I thought it was that bad. I was like, is he doing <laughs> this on purpose? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I get it. It was. It was definitely not his best stuff. Like, cause he can be quite. Cause the last one was but... pretty funny. I thought his last special yeah. was pretty good. Oh yeah, no, it was great. And was, I, I always love his super monologue. nature, or whatever it's called. Yeah, I love his monologue at the Golden Globes, where he's like, "Just come up here and get your award, and then fuck off." <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> if you've never watched these opening monologues from the Golden Globes, it's it's pretty, it's brutal, <laughs> and it's hilarious. All right, uh, Jared or John, who wants to go next? Go for it, John. Since we're going, go for uh, it, John. You know, we're going out of going order. With the we're, clock throwing, here. we're throwing it out of Jared. We're like Jared's like what? Uh, well, I've been listening to more. Uh, uh, I was listening to right wing podcast. Hold on, I, cool. I, no, uh, no, Jared, what's uh, up? <laughs> yeah, he wants to recommend um, Lar- Lars. You know. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was listening Some Rush to Rush Limbaugh uh, reruns. <laughs> oh God! No, I was listening to Carlson, Leslie maybe? Gore, who did the uh, original to uh, uh, "You Don't Own Me," um, you don't and then I noticed Joan Jett did a cover of it, and then I got into started listening to the Runaways, which I guess was the band she did before she went solo. Correct. So. Uh, there's a movie so it's kind of interesting listening to like girls yeah. 70 rocks so that was that was interesting listening to their uh um, it's surprising to listen to girls play rock music because it's never happened before yeah yeah right. <laughs> well i think it's just the the lyrical yeah, content was i was kind of it was just more uh share, just share same, a link in the group same yeah. shit that uh like guys would write in the 70s so it's it, it's just i was kind of taken aback by how forward their lyrics were um, you know, pretty much talking about the same shit men would talk about in the seventies rock, like Janis Joplin, or uh, I've never listened to Janis Joplin, so I can't comment on Janis Joplin. Pretty good. I had yeah. I solid. I had a I was force fed it when I was a kid, but I kind of liked mm-hmm. it. So, <laughs> oh, my mom was a huge Joplin fan back in the day, so I kind of got force fed it on every trip to Utah. For family shit, but it was not bad. It was better than listening to Out to Kill Some Mormons. Yeah, yeah those Mormon uh, hunting trips. Yeah, you know Mormon hunting trips. 
<laughs> anyway, but yeah, it was it was that bad. It was either that or listen to Garth Brooks all, all the way there. Nothing wrong with Garth Brooks. Really Cyrus. You know, there's Thunder nothing wrong rules, with any of that man. stuff, man. I love Garth Brooks. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> I like Garth Brooks. It was it was other stuff that I never heard before that I was kind of also force fed. But then when jazz came on, and then there was Jimmy, and I was like, okay, this is this is this is good stuff. Okay, okay, better I should say, better stuff. Anyway, cool. That's it, Jared. <laughs> um, Jared, yeah. The the thing that's interested me the most recently is the the information about the gamecube startup sound effect you know everybody probably knows that it even played in the super mario brothers Mm -hmm. movie when luigi's phone rang Uh, but if you hold uh, it's been going around but if you hold the z button as as you're starting your system up it changes that sound from a xylophone sound to like a squeaky toy and at the end is children laughing or a child laughing oh that's yeah, so it's like an old, old Easter egg that, that nobody really broadly knew about. Nintendo Glaze, isn't it? It's like yeah. totally pointless, and it's like everyone's fanboying over it. Well, <laughs> well, it made me think. It like, I, as far as I know, the Switch doesn't even have a startup sound. Like, it doesn't even do the snap sound or any. I don't know. Like, there used to be always be cool console startup sounds, and PlayStation went to beep. It's because you can't hear the uh, money vacuum when you start up the switch. Yeah, true. yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so I, I miss starting sounds. Like uh, back back in that era, every console had such cool startup sounds, and I just agree. having like a little Easter egg like that—that's so cool. You know, would be great is if Epic Games on their app, and when you start it up, it just goes wow, and it just has a startup. It's an app. It doesn't need a startup sound, but it just like creates a startup sound. <laughs> it should. Just of, I love like, startup sounds. Cool. That would Hashtag be cool. should have startup sounds too. I mean, Netflix does. Yeah. Netflix does that. Yeah, that yeah and, and I love it. But don't. And even like some of their like old Sega stuff. You know, Netflix has shows that they start up like uh, the dragon prince starts up and the lizard thing goes. Ba-dong. You know what? You're, 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 makes you know sound. what, Jared? I was making fun of you, but now you're correct because like YouTube does it too. It does the load screen and then yeah. it does a, a sound. Netflix yeah. does a sound. Well, does well, yeah, sound? identify yourself with a dumb or cool sound or something. I mean, yeah. we do. I mean, you does know. not. We do too. We, we do it. Uh, Couch Club does it. Couch Club is full of douchebags. Yeah, that's, we have our startup our sound right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's our startup sound. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, are you recommending dumb startup sounds? Or are you just recommending the GameCube one? We should go listen to it. Well, specifically, yeah, that one. That one's been like rolling around in the news, like every website. What is the best one, one thing in your it. opinion? The best startup sound of the all time. The best startup sound. PS2, in my well, opinion. I uh, was. I think it was that the PS3 good. that had like the symphony. Oh, the symphony t- was, tune. Oh uh, yeah. Like Happy their goals. tuning sound. I love that. Every time the system started out, it has that crazy the sound yeah, of the symphony yeah, yeah, tuning. Yeah, I got you. And I, I did like that, that one a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Dave, if John, do you guys even give two fucks to answer this question? John does I not. Can't remember bro, I remember. I, I was N64 head. and then went straight to the Xbox 360. So Original or Game even Boy. even like the ding. PlayStation 1. Boom. Boom. Ding, ding, I think the original cool Game sound. Boy with the Nintendo coming down and it goes. Yeah. Like, yeah. See, ding. The sound that of my great. wife when I start her up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, the sound effects, blowing them up. like like the the most disappointing thing. It 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 was so fantastic that I was able to disable the starting sound of the PlayStation Five. You can do that I, now. The I, beep. You can turn the beep off. You know what I used to do on like on my Windows. I have no problem with yeah. that. Yeah, you can turn off the beep. That so, that's their signature sound of the startup of the PlayStation Five is beep, like an old PC beep. So here's uh, a fun I, I here's a fun a story. With the startups of anyone. Here's a fun story. So Windows ninety eight had a had a uh, Windows ninety five mm-hmm. ninety eight. They oh, had yeah. startup sounds. I forget what the yeah. startup sound for Windows ninety eight is. Now it's like a chime or some kind of sound. Yeah. But yeah. at that time when I was away at college, uh, the the third radio uh, Rage Against the Machine album was out. 
So mm. I isolated the, it's got to start sometime. It's Gorilla Radio, and it's a break in the song. And it goes, it has to start sometime. It has to start some somewhere. What better place than here? Yeah. What better place than now? So I yeah. isolated just that part. And so... And I replaced it mm-hmm. with the dong in my Windows 98 machine. So every time you turn yeah. it on, it would go, it has to start sometime. Yeah. <laughs> what better place here? What Man, I, time I, I, now? I used to and customize then my computer the shit would out start. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I, just thought it was, I thought that was funny that all this fucking <laughs> yeah, rage, uh-huh. just hoping that my that fucking computer cold. would okay. start. Uh, I thought that I'm was surprised stupid. you didn't yeah. do that to all the machines. Yeah, that'd be funny. School. Yeah. No, that was just my one machine because I, I, I found it funny. Yeah, because I, I would, I would have true. friends that would like come by, like my roommate would play video games on my PC. So when I would turn it off, you'd have to turn it off. And you know, I just thought it was funny. Anyway. Yeah. And now you uh, don't even turn your computer you don't off. Even, I don't even turn it's it just off. Like and there's boring. no, yeah. there's no sound or any, uh, you know, you're right, yeah. Jared. Bring back yeah. the startup I, I missed sounds. that era. Yeah. Bring up cool startup sounds. Come on, guys. <laughs> PlayStation 6, let's go. Or at least uh, just. Change your firmware to where there's a cool startup sound. No, Jared just beep. wants a direct true of a WAV beep. file. In he's it, living. He's living in the past, make... Dave. He's just living. Yep. In the yeah. Past. Yeah. Startup All right. Sounds, man. My it's turn. Stuck I, in people's heads. I also have a musical. Uh, I shared a bunch in the uh, film music thing on Discord of our group, mm-hmm. but uh, uh, Paul, my friend in the band, shared uh, this uh, new guy, and I've been really into it, and that's uh, Stephen Wilson Jr. Uh, he's kind of Americana rock, alt-country guy, and uh, I've really been digging it. Yeah, uh, it's good. Uh, there's some country, some kind of poppy country, and then he did this really cool cover of Everclear's uh, Santa Monica, mm-hmm. which is super sick, totally different than the original Everclear song. Anyway, I've been really yeah. digging that, and uh, I pre-ordered... His album's already out, but the vinyl release is coming in February, so I already pre-ordered that. So, uh, uh, so that comes in February. So I'm really looking forward to that. But Stephen Wilson Jr. He's he's like old. He's like he's like our age. He's like well, most of us is like mid forties. So he's been kind of floating around for a long time, and he finally put some music together, or he's been putting music together for a while. But he's finally getting some traction. Uh, Dare I say uh, a word I hate, but he's uh, he seems very authentic. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, kind of like us. Uh, uh, he just I don't know. He seems cool, and uh, uh, he's actually going to be playing here in uh, May. So I think uh, Paul and I are going to that show. Uh, so cool. Thirty bucks, dude, cheap. So, but uh, yeah, uh, Stephen. Yeah cheapest country show you'll ever get Steven into wilson jr we actually there's a bunch of his shows live on youtube and it's just him and this guy playing slide guitar he plays a nylon guitar with a pickup through like this fucking he does all this like kind of crazy effect shit it's pretty awesome just fucking heavy so like just i don't know i think it's fucking great but uh anyway that's my couch co optional all right let's get out of here oh. Oh, it's been a good show, boys. Nice. Have fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. Good fun. All right. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank all of you guys out there. I want to thank, well, first of all, in the chat, he took off. He had to say goodnight. But uh, Spooky, thanks for stopping by. I goops in the chat. Cheers. Uh, for stopping by and hanging out and being participating in the show. Like, all of you guys could, too. Like, if anyone out there listening wants to come hang out while we record live, you just go to twitch.tv slash the couch co uh co-op show and uh you can uh, be a part of the show just hang out it's a lot of fun anyway <laughs> i want to thank everyone for listening and remind you to read feedback at the couch co-op show at gmail.com or find us on our socials at couch co-op shows all one word no hyphen i want to thank jared dave aaron and john yeah. for joining me here yeah. on the couch for couch co-op i'm ian reminding you all to please be excellent. excellent to each other. To each other. To each other. Do, do, do. To each other. Couch Co-op is full of douchebags. Couch Co-op. Go up!
something involving sexual torture a little bit. 